Hey everyone, and welcome into the Con Expo, Con Ag, and IFPE 2023 post show report. I'm Wayne Grayson for AEM. So somehow the big show has come and gone. We waited three really, really long years given the last show actually happened just before, actually just as the COVID-19 pandemic was getting started. And it just seems like forever this show, and you could kind of tell by the spirit of the show, Everyone was super excited to be there. Um, there were days where it was really shoulder to shoulder. It was a beautiful thing to see the entire industry kind of coming out, being together, and taking a look at the latest and greatest in new machines. So that being said, obviously we had a jam-packed whirlwind of a week on our hands, and the 2023 show really held its own as the largest uh, trade show in North America. More than 139,000 attendees. That's right, 139,000 came through uh, the halls and the outdoor uh, exhibit lots at the Las Vegas Convention Center, holding on to the title as the largest trade show in North America. Now, those attendees packed into more than 3 million square feet of space at the Las Vegas Convention Center, where more than 2,400 exhibitors showed off their latest and greatest equipment, solutions, and technology, all of which are aimed at leveling up the construction industry. So in this video, in this post-show report, we wanted to take a second to highlight some of the major introductions, some of the awesome equipment and sustainable solutions that were unveiled or launched at this year's show. Now, first up is Link Belt Excavators, which used this show to launch its all new X4S generation of excavators. Now, these new models, several of which were on display at the show, include the new 170 X4S, the 190 X4S, the 220 X4S, which is the flagship of the entire lineup, the 260, the 300, and the 355. Now, the big thing with these new X4S excavators is that they offer speedy control with customization. The way that LinkBuild is doing this is that they have kept the pilot controls on this thing. A lot of you will be happy to hear that. So these new excavators do feature pilot controls. However, they feature the customization of electrohydraulic controls. You can customize as part of these new X4S improvements, the feel, the speed, the hydraulic flow, basically allowing you to prioritize boom over swing or swing over boom, depending on the exact application that you're working on. Now, one other thing to mention about these new link belt excavators is that they are working on automation and remote control. The 220 X4S at the show was actually set up at both Trimble Dimensions last year and here at Con Expo 2023 for autonomous control and actually did an autonomous uh, kind of excavator rodeo for people that were in attendance at the show. Pretty cool thing. Now, speaking of automation and autonomy, American Honda brought its latest generation, the third generation of its prototype autonomous work vehicle, or AWV, to Con Expo 2023. Now, this vehicle is designed for load and carry applications, so you can basically think of it as a self-driving truck bed with a capacity of 2,000 pounds that can rove around your drop site, uh, dropping things where they're needed and picking up things where they're needed. Now, the thing to keep in mind with the autonomous work vehicle is that it is designed specifically for the construction industry. And with this latest generation, American Honda essentially upgraded the sensors, but also the space in the bed. Um, the space in the bed, in, in addition to uh, you know being able to support more than 2,000 pounds capacity, it also now supports two pallet loads of materials. But the third gen AWV has also seen improvements to its LiDAR, camera, and its GPS sensors, upping the accuracy to ensure job site safety and productivity. Now, as a prototype, that obviously means that American Honda is still in the process of developing it, and there's not currently any timetable for release. Some of the first types of jobs that American Honda would be targeting with this would be you know, jobs that are really heavy on the load and carry, such as solar farm construction. That's, that's been a big one for autonomy in general. So no timetable yet, but visitors to Con Expo Con Ag 2023 definitely got a glimpse into the not so distant future. Now we're gonna move from the future to the future past. And what I mean by that is that while Lippmann debuted two uh, brand new products at Con Expo Con Ag 2023, both of these products are deeply rooted in this company's rich history. So at the show, Lippmann was celebrating its 100th anniversary, uh, and that is a legacy built on rigidity and durability and the just high amount of steel uh, that goes into these machines. That is one thing that Lippmann is well known for. 
Now at the show, Lippmann debuted the 1300J, a jaw crusher with a massive 51 by 39 inch opening, allowing it to crush some of the largest material out there. Now the 1300J is also a hybrid powered machine, which means that you can run this machine off of a tethered power line connection, or you can run it off of a diesel genset. Now Lippmann also debuted the new 4800R impact recycling machine with improvements to both the material outflow and the return conveyor. All right, so with Lippmann providing that hybrid uh, power option, allowing you either to use the diesel genset or a tethered uh, power line connection, obviously more and more companies, and that is actually a solution that Lippmann has had for a while now, but it's, it's kind of progressive in the sense that, you know, over time, more and more of these companies are looking at giving uh, users more options. And a big theme at ConExpo, ConAg, and IFPE 2023 was that sustainability and kind of uh, alternative fuel choice. Now, there were lots of other booths at the show with a very heavy emphasis on the very electric future that is coming down the pike. Now, those included John Deere, Volvo, Komatsu, uh, Caterpillar, Kubota, Wacker Neusen, Hyundai, Devalon, Bobcat, and Takeuchi. Now, each of these manufacturers that I just mentioned displayed electric either prototypes or new electric machine launches right alongside their conventional diesel machine lineups. Now, Caterpillar displayed four of its electric prototype machines at the show, while Kubota Engine displayed a brand new hydrogen engine. Meanwhile, Volvo displayed a hydrogen-powered articulated dump truck, Bobcat unveiled a new electric skid steer to complement its all-electric T7X compact track loader. The skid steer is the S7X, um, and Bobcat did that alongside a cabless fully electric CTL. Meanwhile, Devalon was at its very first kind of major trade show in its new form. And by new form, I mean that this is the brand that was previously known as Doosan. Devalon had a big presence at the show showing off its new brand. Hyundai was kind of doing similar work at the show. And uh, at the Devalon booth, there was autonomous equipment running, while at the Hyundai booth, they showed off their uh, hydrogen-powered excavator that they first unveiled at Bama last year. And kind of rounding things out here, there is Wacker Neusen. Wacker Neusen, uh, obviously a compact equipment manufacturer that is growing by leaps and bounds. They also displayed some of their electric solutions, including um, electric compaction equipment, battery powered compaction equipment, alongside their new E17E electric mini excavator. Well, all right, guys, that's going to wrap up this 2023 Con Expo and Con Ag and IFPE post show report. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys got to come out to the show this year. If you didn't, we've got several new videos and a lot of new content on the Con Expo and Con Ag website and the AEM platform. So be sure to follow us there and check that out for all the latest and greatest on the new equipment and solutions that are leveling up the construction industry in 2023. Thank you guys so much again for watching. We'll see you next time.